Hey, Ryan here from TikTok. Just want to give you a quick update on our software capabilities in the progress. Uh, what you see over there is just a Kabuki robot with the phone on top running our full stack robotics suite running on top of Android. What we see here is a map. We can see the purple indicating the location of the robot on the map. And we've got a video feed that works uh, whether you're on local Wi-Fi or remote and a joystick to teleop the robot. But as we know, driving robots is best for RC cars and toys. What we really want is autonomy. So we've given the ability to define destinations for the robot, and it will automatically plot itself a course to go there. And while that 2D app is really cool and familiar for most people, the wave of spatial computing through ARKit and ARCore is an even more interesting way to interact with the robot. So what we have here is our augmented reality controller, where I can just tap a destination on the ground, and that becomes a new goal for the robot to travel to, which you can see in the green route that it's uh, planning. We can give multiple destinations, sort of like leaving breadcrumb trails for the robot to travel over. And we can see one at a time. It will plot itself a course to get there, going to each goal, and then plotting to the next goal. Augmented reality is also a great way to set up the map. So let's say we want to add a new point of interest over here. Garbage can. All right, now we have a new spot in the map called Garbage Can. And we can say, okay, Google, ask TikTok to go to the garbage can. All right, getting TikTok. The robot Gus is going to the garbage can. And of course, we can use voice right on the augmented re app as well. Go to conference room. So there you have it. That's kind of the highlights. We've got uh, the autonomy suite, a new navigation system, mapping, augmented reality, 2D control, uh, all running on top of Android on low-cost chips.